Hi Air Signs, Tarot Twins here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am joined by Black for the Tarot. Hi Air Energies. Uh, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we're going to be looking at your current feelings, where you're at, you versus them. So mm -hmm. we'll be looking at you and then we'll be looking at their feelings as well. Really appreciate you joining the channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. A lot more Tarot Twin content is coming up to the channel. Um, otherwise, we'll get straight into it. Okay, so you'll be taking a look at um i'm going to have a look at you yes yes so the air signs energies yeah. yeah what's going on with you what are you thinking where are you at so emotionally mentally spiritually okay in the current situation Okay, you're very attached to someone here, air signs. A lot of water energy, a lot of emotion that's pouring through, um, pouring through your energy right now. There's something that has you distracted, and you're so wrapped up in something here, air signs. It might have been something that um, is was said. It might have been a comment, a text message. You're sort of you're sort of still thinking about it, especially at nighttime. Maybe maybe you're dwelling on it. Maybe the message is coming up here. It's almost like you're stressing about a situation. I get the sense that a lot of you are wanting to hold on to something here, okay? You're desperate to cling on to something, a relationship, a person, a connection. Um, you do have the chariot here, which is cancer energy. Now, cancer is a very attached energy. Energy. It's a codependent energy. So straight away, it makes me feel like you are very codependent on someone right now. You're not being very independent, air signs. You know, we, we normally are this way. Um, but somehow, you know, something is shifting here for you. Uh, it might even be a new romance here with the Ace of Cups, but it's like a destined connection. It's, it's the universe. It's God's spirit that's sort of vouching for this connection. And in a way, you feel so attached um, you may even be falling in love, okay? You might not even be aware of it. Um, maybe you're falling back in love. Um, but the way you're really feeling, like you're so emotionally drawn, like it's such an overpowering energy. And I mean, you're trying to cling on, okay? Four of Pentacles is like clingy energy. So you're trying to cling on to an idea, a person, um, a connection. And it, you know, really has you in overdrive. Um, but what I love is that, especially if you have had, you know, some sort of comment or fight or things that have sort of kept you up at night, the chariot is about overcoming those obstacles. So this, around this time frame, around this energy, you're going to see that you and your person, there you are as divine masculine and divine feminine, you're in fact going to connect and things are going to get better. You're going to be able to work through those obstacles. I really feel like love is bringing you back together with someone. It could also be like um, something about the past exes, past flames, past connections. It's almost like you've been here before, you've done this before, and now it's coming back around, but I feel like this time, air signs, you're going to handle yourself better. You're going to know what to do in this situation, because you've been through this before, you've done it, you know, you've come out the other side, you're capable of overcoming whatever this is, nothing is impossible here, and I really feel like it's the universe's way, this is God's way of telling you that things are open um, as they are right now. I do feel like the bird, because the bird is a messenger, an Ace of Cups can be a new beginning, especially emotionally speaking. I do feel like there may be a message here about clearing the air or putting out further intention here to start a new beginning, to start a new romance, possibly mm. kick things back up again. But it's coming up on your side. So I feel like um, Air Signs, this is going to be something that you are going to um, initiate. Okay, It's going to be your power, um, your first step, you, know, you, you swallowing your pride maybe. It's going to be you that takes that initiative and really drive it to success here. But I do feel like you, about a connection, you feel like it's written in the stars for you, the stars in the canopy. You know, you, you feel like it's destined for you. And this is a powerful connection. We mustn't uh, ignore the emotions that come to us because sometimes they're gifted to us from God, from a higher spirit, a higher realm. So I feel like overall to see that this is a super emotional time for you. So just take it easy with your emotions. Don't put too much pressure on a situation. Um, let things flow naturally. Queen of Cups is all about compassion, care, and tenderness, and she says what she feels. So if you feel you owe someone um, words of love, of wisdom, you know, heartfelt, emotional words, say it. Do not be afraid to express yourself because this is such a powerful energy. And why hide it? Why hide from it? Enjoy it. Embrace it. Accept it. Mm, okay, so let's have a look at you. Okay, so now air oh, energies. The, your person, sorry. Yes, we're going <laughs> to um, shift over and going to take a look at your connecting romantic energy. So what's going on with your person? Okay, 
What's going on with them emotionally and mentally? Oh, that was stuck. They have the Empress here. Okay. The Five of Wands. We have the Hierophant, but that's come up in reverse. Look, they also have the Nine of Swords, mm. and it's the same position here. A very strong mental connection which leads me to suggest that i feel like they um the two of you have a very strong mental compatibility they may sometimes know your thoughts before or you may know each other's thoughts before you, you know your your thoughts even cross your mind here very strong mental connection and then you have judgment card as well he uh, they have sorry they have the judgment card as well so what's going on with them here i feel like there is some um, conflict or there is some friction with their energies i feel like they're trying they have this internal battle going on and i feel like this is a battle between their head and their heart i don't feel like right now they don't have the peace that they need um i feel like this Around your person's energies, I feel like there's either endings, because whenever judgment pops up in the tarot spread, it's often a huge indicator of endings or beginnings, okay? So I feel like, um, you know, there's either endings or beginnings around your person's energy, so it, which leads me to suggest that maybe the two of you are, you know, on a, some sort of separation um, basis, maybe the two of you are sort of disconnected currently, maybe emotionally, mentally, maybe, you know, at a physical distance here, maybe you're going through something here, but I feel like this is a very crucial point, because I feel like they're really uncomfortable with this disconnection, they're really uncomfortable with the distance here, but I can also see that they're trying to fight it's almost like they're either trying to still fight for this connection they could be trying to fight their feelings for you here i do feel like there's a lot of there's an energy here that definitely threatens their peace of mind and takes away from you know their peace here um, i feel like your person here has a hard time they're doing a lot of thinking okay they're doing a lot of thinking they may not necessarily be communicating everything that they're um, thinking about but i can see that there is certain things that are keeping them up at night there's a heavy energy here notice the repetition with the nine of swords i feel like nighttime as well and i feel like this is where you guys are sort of on the same page as well could it be the same problem with both stressing or thinking about the same thing there is i feel like there is a link there because i feel like you sh you're sort of sharing each other's thoughts so if there's something here that's troubling you best believe it also troubles your romantic connecting energy so if you're you know if you don't feel like you're at peace about something here with this connection um you know fret not because i don't feel like they feel rested or they feel settled with you know this issue as well so yes i do feel like there's some sort of link clearly and i feel like you're sort of sharing each other's thoughts or you're sharing there's some sort of anxieties or some worries or something that's keeping you up something that's obviously troubling you so it's a very bothersome energy with the nine of swords here as well and i feel like in the night time it gets worse you know when you're alone with your thoughts here um so, yeah, I definitely feel like there's something keeping them up at night. But there's also a guilt in the fact that the Nine of Swords here is uh, alongside the Hierophant in reverse. So, look, your person might have said things to you in the past. They might have said or done things to you in the past that, you know, it burdens them with their, like, a guilty kind of energy. They're not necessarily proud. I also feel like your person here, they may have, they may have commitment issues or I feel like maybe they've had an opportunity here to commit, but they didn't, you know, wholeheartedly or fully apply themselves. And and now they're wondering if there's a miss like a missed chance or a missed opportunity with you or they're wondering if you know they sort of missed the boat here or if the, the two of you will ever get a chance to come back together so i can see that and this is why i feel like they're still fighting here maybe they're still you know they're fighting for their feelings they're fighting for this connection here there is abundance with the emperor so i feel like you know despite the conflict or despite the friction here within your energies and within your connection i do feel like your person here has um a lot of work to do internally um i feel like they have to get a lot of clarity here especially with judgment coming up um i do feel like there is i see that your person here is going to want to communicate something with you and notice how the angel he blows the trumpet and it almost awakes like all this you know it um, awakes uh, the dead uh, the dead here 
from their casket. So I feel like your person wants to come in with a very strong message here and will come in with a very strong message. So look, after some very, after a lot of introspection and after a lot of self-analysis and self-reflection, your person here is going to either communicate digitally or they will tell you, they will share something with you face to face that I feel like is going to be very thought provoking. And I feel like it's going to elicit a very strong emotional reaction on your end because you have the Ace of Cups. It can drive you to tears, it can move you to tears, or it can really put you in a place where you feel emotionally vulnerable with them. So, and this is after a lot of introspection, a lot of thinking on their end here. So whilst your person's energy seem a little bit unsettled right now, I do feel like, um, you know, they need to do a lot of thinking, a lot of thought processing for them to get to a stage where they feel more at ease and more at peace with their emotions and their you know mental state as well so that the two of you could possibly you know come back together here as the ace of cups suggests for renewal or for a new you know a new chapter here so guys this is all that we have for you today we just want to thank you all for watching and for listening thank you for um, all of your support for those of you that are interested in a personal tarot reading with the both of us with tarot twins please send off an email with the subject line tarot twins in, um in the header otherwise right. guys otherwise thank you so much don't forget to like share subscribe and pop over to black feathers tarot uh, page as well otherwise we shall be in touch very soon thanks again bye for now